Hello, my dear sewing friends. It's Elisa here with Thoughtful Creativity. And you know, today's video, I really wanted to call, see if you can find the zipper, because that's right. That's exactly what we're working on today, inserting invisible zipper. Now, this is a very simple, pretty straightforward, but a very good technique that I use to insert invisible zipper and to give you a really impeccable result. Now, you can use this technique on many other garments. It doesn't have to be a skirt, but today I'm working on a skirt for a friend's daughter and we will be inserting this invisible zipper in a center back seam. And I will also show you how I finished the waistband after inserting that zipper as well. So that way you have an extra technique on that topic as well. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Now first, let's take a look at what we're working with. And here I have an A-line skirt with one front panel and two back panels. I also have a waistband that I'm going to attach to the top of the skirt. Now, if you take a look closer, you will see that all of the details have already been surged and I will attach the waistband to the top of the skirt with a straight stitch and then I will press the seam allowances open. Pressing your garment and the seams between the steps is going to be a really frequent thing, especially when we're talking about inserting invisible zipper. So definitely have your iron and ironing board handy. Now, once that is done, go ahead and place your skirt right sides together, center back seam to center back seam. And now we're going to baste these pieces together, but not from the top to the bottom, but from that crease of the waistband that you see all the way to the bottom of the skirt. Go ahead and choose the longest straight stitch on your sewing machine. And for this particular center back seam, I'm going to use 5 eighths of a seam allowance. And we're going to start at the top of the crease of the waistband and we're going to do it all the way down. Make sure that the waistband seam that connects the waistband and the skirt match perfectly. And this is how the seam looks when it's all done. You see it goes from the crease of the waistband all the way down. Now the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to give it a really good press. And after that is done, let's move on to the next step. And the next step is to grab your zipper. Now this is an invisible zipper, it's white, and that's the only zipper of that size that I had. But I thought, you know what? It's actually a great opportunity to show that it truly is invisible. Now what you want, you want these top little stoppers of the zipper to match the crease of the waistband right over here. So you want to take your zipper, place it face down on that center back seam that you just ironed out and you want to place those stoppers on the crease. After you have found the position that you like, go ahead and pin the zipper so that way it kind of stays in place while we baste it. And the next step is exactly that. I'm gonna grab a hand sewing needle and you can skip the step if you want, but I think that this really is what makes it super nice and neat and really gives you that invisible zipper. And then I'm going to baste it by hand really quick and easy from the stoppers of the zipper all the way down. However, I do tend to leave about two and a half inches from the bottom of the zipper and that's where my seam of the zipper will stop and I will make a little marking over here on both sides so that way I know where to stop the seam and where to start the seam. And now that the zipper is hand basted all the way through from the top of the stoppers all the way to two and a half inch marks to the center back seam, we need to secure the rest of the center back seam that is below the zipper. Because remember, we only did a basting stitch on our sewing machine. So we need to make sure that the rest of that seam is going to be nice and sturdy. So from that two and a half inch mark that we marked on the zipper itself, you are going to do a straight stitch on the actual center back seam from that mark all the way down, pretty much repeating it, you know, stitch into stitch with the basting stitch. When you're doing this, don't forget to backstitch at the beginning and at the end of your seam. Once you're done, it will look like so. 
And now we will need to remove machine basting stitch that goes all the way along the zipper till that mark where we started our normal straight stitch. And you see me do that right now. And that is the reason because the next step that we're going to do is we're actually going to attach the zipper to the center back seam. Before we do, go ahead and close the zipper one more time to ensure that everything really does match up nice and neat and nothing has shifted in the process because, you know, measure twice, cut once, right? All right, and then grab your invisible zipper foot. One important moment before we start, make sure that your zipper is open all the way down, all the way to the bottom like so. Now grab either side of your project and place it underneath your invisible zipper foot so that way it matches the actual zipper perfectly. Now make sure that the seam allowance and the actual zipper are facing in one direction and the skirt body is facing in the other direction. So you're only sewing through the zipper and through the seam allowance and then start stitching. Go nice and slow. If you're not sure if this is your first time, then I do recommend do not backstitch because you want to make sure that everything is correct and unpicking backstitching definitely is a lot more complex than unpicking a regular seam. So go ahead and get started at the stoppers all the way down to that two and a half inch mark. And we're going to do that on both sides. Sometimes it might feel like the invisible zipper foot and the needle are going really close to the actual zipper. In that case, you might just want to pull the actual zipper a little bit away, but other than that, you will be all good. Alrighty, we are so, so very close. Once you're done attaching your zipper with your invisible zipper foot, go ahead and close it. Definitely double check that everything really is matching nice and neat. And right now you can go ahead and remove the hand basting stitches that we did. And of course, give it a really good press so that way it's nice and crisp. And once that is done, we will move on to the corners of your waistband. So here's your invisible zipper. It is attached starting at those little plastic stoppers and the rest of the tail, so to speak, is um, not attached. So what you want to do is you want to fold the waistband in right sides together at that crease and then you want to fold in the actual tail of the zipper like so. And you know what? Watch it a couple of times because every time I do it, it does take me a couple of moments to fiddle around with it and definitely figure out how do I fold it in. But this is the way I do it. In some cases, I might snip it, but in this case, I will fold it in like so. Then you fold the waistband on top of it and then you will do a straight stitch besides the other stitch that we did to attach the actual zipper. And once you're done, it will look like so. So the white thread is where we attach the zipper. And the black thread is the stitch that I did to enclose the waistband. You will repeat the same steps for both sides of the waistband. And once you turn them right sides out, it will look like this. And I did not snip anything in the corners. Everything turned out nice and neat like this and sharp corners as well as you can see it. And the last thing that we need to do is to actually finish the waistband. And we're going to do that in the following steps. Now, this is how it looks on the inside. I have my seam allowance pressed open, the one that connects the waistband and the body of the skirt. And then I have the waistband backside that goes over that seam allowance, but is not yet attached. So what I'm going to do next, I'm actually going to do stitch in a ditch on the right side of the skirt where the seam is between the waistband and the body of the skirt. And that is going to catch the other side of the waistband on the wrong side of the skirt. And that way I will get no visible seam on the outside of the skirt, but I will get a very nicely done waistband on the inside of the skirt. 
Stitch in a ditch, definitely something to practice, so definitely go really nice and slow. I do hand crank sometimes, especially when I have fabric like this that is uneven in terms of colors and patterns. However, if you don't feel comfortable about stitching in a ditch, you can also finish it by hand or choose another technique for finishing the waistband. And that's it, the invisible zipper for the skirt is done. As mentioned, you can use this technique on many other garments. And if you want to see more sewing how-tos and technical moments, then definitely click on the video that you see in your screens right now. There's more videos like that that go in depth on particular technique. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.